I rode my bike into the church today and uh, I'm gonna try to head home before it gets too hot. I'm a little bit concerned that I might have already waited too long. Also, um, I really don't like this helmet. Um, it kind of hurts. There's like a thing right here in the front that scratches my forehead and then it kind of leaves like this, like this mark. I don't know if you can see it right now, but yeah, you see that? Um, I really don't like it. But here's the thing about helmets. I could technically get away with not wearing one because I'm an adult and the law in California says that if you're a minor, then you have to wear one. But I like my brain and I, I like it inside my head. So uh, the benefits outweigh the fact that I really don't want to wear it. But let's hit the road. <laughs> Little pit stop out here. Uh, ooh, how's my hair look? Pretty good? Gotta love helmets. Helmets got me thinking about this other prayer point that I wanted us to focus on uh, today, which was praying for our leaders. We have this tendency when it comes to this mandate to pray for our leadership that we kind of treat it like helmet wearing. We sort of think that there's a way to get around it so we don't have to do it if we don't feel like it in the moment or if we're thinking about praying for a leader that we particularly don't agree with or don't like for whatever reason. Paul told Timothy to pray for everybody. And then he told him to pray specifically for kings and people in high positions. Now, he doesn't clarify that we should only pray for kings and people in high positions if we agree with them. He just says, pray for those people. And then he goes on to tell Timothy to pray that everybody would know Jesus. So it's kind of like right up there in one of these really important prayer points. Pray that people meet Jesus, but hey, by the way, also pray for your leaders, not just the ones that you agree with, but pray for all of them. I don't always wanna wear a helmet, but I always need to wear a helmet. I honestly don't always wanna pray for all of my leaders, but I always need to be praying for all of my leaders. Good ride, hair looks awesome. Uh, Sharon saw me just now, still have my helmet on. You know what she said? She said, you look pretty cool. You think she was being sarcastic? Okay, all right, I am at my friend's house, Mark and Deb Rondo. Hello. Hey, Hanging out with some friends tonight to watch the presidential debate. This is a very important night in the process towards the presidential election and the perfect day for us to be talking about praying for our leaders is during this week when this debate is happening. Whatever you think about the politics of each of the candidates for the presidency, uh, whatever you think about them as individuals, these guys need our prayers. Now, I don't know why you would wanna be the president of the United States. It's like one of the, if not the hardest job in the world. Uh, but these men, both of them right now as candidates for the presidency, one already elected for it, uh, both of these men need us to be praying for them. We need to pray that they have encounters with God. We need to pray that they have wisdom, that they have wise people around them, and that ultimately we want to pray that their leadership would honor God and help us become a nation that does better at honoring God. These men need our prayers. Would you join me in praying both for Joe Biden and Donald Trump? I want to say, this is the end of this debate. That was rough. We really need to pray. All right, we're going to turn this night around, end it on an exclamation mark. It is time to get a haircut. Seriously, much better, right? Okay, for real though, uh, this is my friend Deb. Some of you already know Deb. Deb has been cutting my hair for like a decade. A long time. I probably owe her like hundreds, thousands of dollars in haircut money. 
Um, pro tip, get a friend who will cut your hair for free and who does a good job. Um, you can't have Deb though, she's taken. <laughs> All right, have a good night. I'll talk to you tomorrow.